Okay, in this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to install a DHCP server in Ubuntu. I'm running Ubuntu 11.10 in a virtual machine. I've got a VMware player virtual machine with Ubuntu 11.10 installed. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to install the DHCP server in here and it's going to hand out IP addresses on this virtual network basically between virtual machines. And what we're hoping to accomplish is that this other virtual machine, which I haven't started up yet, uh, Fedora 16, VMware player virtual machine will pick up an IP address from this Ubuntu server that's going to be running DHCP services. So let's talk a little bit about the virtual machine. The virtual machine has settings and specifically the network adapter is in bridged mode and in bridged mode it should pick up an IP address from the wireless router of the network that I'm on. So let's check that. So what I'll do is type in terminal hit enter I've got a terminal here and I'll type if config and you can see that I have picked up an IP address on this network it's the 2 network and it looks like the wireless router is handing out IP addresses 2.100 to 2.150 uh, if you need to get your your networking up you can always use this little network manager tool up here at the top and you can auto ethernet or enable your networking whatever so now that we have this up and running, we can we have an internet connection. We can install DHCP server by downloading the packages from the internet. So what I'm going to do is I'll type clear, and I'll do a uh, sudo apt dash get update to update my package list to start with. Okay, my package list is updated, and now I'll type clear, and I'll do a sudo apt-get install dhcp3-server. Okay, looks like it found it. I'll hit Y, enter. Okay, it looks like, all right, setting up the ISC DHCP server and what you'll do is you'll see that you're going to get a fail and the reason you get a fail is that you've successfully installed the DHCP server but it hasn't been configured yet so you have to configure it before it's going to work so that's no problem at all this is totally normal so now that we've installed the DHCP server all we have to do is configure it alright so let's go configure it so I'll type clear here and what I'll do is I'll do change directory root directory etc let's look in there ls and you can see if you do an ls command that we've got a folder here called dhcp we need to go into that folder and look for our configuration file so I'll do a cd dhcp let's take a look in it so we change directory now we're in root etc dhcp we'll do ls and in there you can see that the last file in here is the dhcpd.conf file. This is the configuration file for the DHCP server that we need to configure. So what we'll do is we'll do a sudo nano dhcpd.conf and that will open up the DHCPD comp file in the nano text editor. Now I'm using the arrows on my keyboard and you can see this configuration file any, every line that starts with a pound sign is been um, commented out. And so I'm going to go down here. I'm going to look for, here we go, here's a very basic subnet declaration. And then if you go down here, it says right here, a slightly different configuration file for an internal subnet. This is what we want right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that down a line and I'll uncomment this line and I'll change subnet 10.5.5.0 to 192.168.1.1 and which is the network that we're on and I'm going to change this net mask from 255.255.255.224 to 255.255.255.0 now the range this is the range of addresses that you're going to be handing out to clients on the network so you need to change that so I'm going to say 92.168.192.168.2. Let's hand out address, let's see here, 10 to let's say 
192.168.2.30, right? So we'll hand out addresses 192.168.2.10 to 192.168.2.30. And of course, we need to get rid of this pound sign. So then domain name servers, we need to have some domain name servers. We'll uncomment that, and then we'll change the domain name server to 192.168.2.1 and then comma space how about 8.8.4.4 all right I'm not I don't have a domain name that I need to configure on this network but I do need to configure a gateway router so that's going to need to be 192.168.2.1 the broadcast address is optional, but if we want to, it's good to know, the broadcast address would be 192.168.2.255. And then the default lease time and the max lease time, we'll just uncomment those. And we'll uncomment this last curly brace. So now the whole thing is ready to go. I'll backspace one. So we only left one line commented everything else is good and so it's ready to go so all we have to do now is do a control X to exit and it says do you want to save Y for yes and then the file name to write to and the dhcpd.conf so I'm just gonna hit enter because I want to accept the same file name so now we've configured our DHCP server by configuring our dhcpd.conf file so now all we have to do is we need to restart our DHCP server or in fact start it so let's do that so what we'll do is we'll say sudo forward slash etc forward slash init dot d let's see here and then we'll go forward slash isc dash dhcp let's see tab if we can tab complete it it'll complete it for us then what we'll need to do is we'll just say restart Okay, space and then restart, hit enter, and stopping the ISC server, you see a fail here, and then starting the DHCP server, okay. So this time, it's okay. Now, the stopping failed because it actually wasn't running, and we had said restart. So we could have probably here just put start instead of restart, and then we wouldn't have got that initial fail. But the DHCP server is running now, so it should be handing out IP addresses on the network. So let's launch this Fedora 16 or let's launch a client and see if we can pick up an IP address so I'll go here and we'll play this virtual machine and we'll see if we can pick up an IP address now this virtual machine has also got let's well once it launches we'll take a look at its settings and see what the network adapter what mode it's in okay looks like it started up we'll take a look at its virtual machine settings and the network adapter right now is in um, LAN segment mode and I'm gonna change it I need to change this to bridge mode and click OK and I'm not sure if I can just do that on the fly here we'll see if we can pick up an IP address All right, let's take a look. So we'll go to Applications, System Tools, Terminal, and we'll type if config, and you can see that it picked up an IP address 192.168.2.10. So that worked out really well. It picked up an IP address not from my wireless router, but it picked up the IP address from my Ubuntu machine. And if we want to prove it, we can prove it by issuing another command from the server. So on the server, let's do this. On the server, we'll say sudo tail command var forward slash lib forward slash dhcp forward slash dhcpd dot leases. And you can see that by putting in this command we look at the var lib dhcp dhcpd 
dot leases and this shows us our leases and you can see that we've leased 2.10 it shows the starting and the ending time of the lease it shows the client the binding state next binding state and it shows us the MAC address that it was bound to so we've successfully handed out an IP address with our virtual machine DHCP server to another virtual machine DHCP client now I did have to change the virtual machines settings by changing the NIC and putting the network adapter into bridged mode to get it to work so make sure you do that now this cl client could be another Linux machine but it could have been a, a Windows machine an XP machine or whatever and uh, and it, you should find that it works